Yeah, hello together. Um, I'm quite proud to be here today um, in such a wonderful frame to give you an idea of yeah, my journey and um, the topic curated waters, um, which is quite new, especially um, for the for water segment. In the next few minutes, I will like you and show you what kind of roles I got. Um, it's working, yes. First of all, um, why I'm standing here. I'm Niklas Steuer, I'm the founder of Neva's Water, and I, yeah, following my vision for the last four years to create a premium water, um, which has a chance to uh, get the attention on every festive table. So it's like a niche product for the really high class restaurants and gastronomy hotels, which brings up a non alcoholic beverage uh, to the middle piece of every table. Um, beside this, uh, in the few next few minutes, I have like three topics. Um, the water world, what we looked in in the beginning of the journey. <coughs> and the second part is the regulations, especially Germany is quite tricky. I, I talked to you, uh, or some of you yesterday, um, and I heard there are, in every country there are further tools mentioned. Um, I think Germany is quite special on this as well. And of course, our answer and how we overcome all these things. So I will introduce you later on in a short video, Neighbors Water and what's special on this. Um, what was the main question which we are following on the full journey was, um, what should be noted if we want to create a new premium water? And we look or make a deep dive in four different, well, three different categories, water trends, so what is the experience? How does the segment look like? The model segment. Um, the second one is like the premium beverage, what we already heard in the one before. Um, it's really mainly um, influence for, for the people who like in a high class um, segment and have, yeah, or what used to get a special offer at the table. And of course, the society trends, especially the health trend, what got mentioned uh, before already. It's really important to bring all these three parts together to have an overview of what is, what is going on on the market. <coughs> um, here you see part of these things. I don't want to go that deep into it. Um, first of all, there is mentioned the design editions. A lot of companies, especially in the lower, the smaller German market, are used to do a design edition. So same water, but in the summer period, some with flowers and winter periods of design edition is a really common point in, in the German market. The next thing is the blue water. <coughs> it's mainly done by the customers itself, what they are allowed to have in the water, like lemon, orange, or whatever. And uh, flavored waters, which is mainly lead, lead by the big companies to bring this into the market, as we've heard already here in Sweden, it's most of the water is bought uh, due to the fact that in a lot of countries in Europe we have good tap water quality. Getting these three topics um, more detailed, we had another point, society trends. So it's really important to get an eye on this, <coughs> to have an idea um, how the people are looking at into different products, not, not only in, in beverage, also in food, in the completely lifestyle they're joining. So there are more important, um, or it's, it's becoming bigger, drinking no alcohol at all. Um, the health, the mentali mentality, fitness, it's becoming more important uh, for all the people in the society. And on the other hand, it's like the luxury goods, a special moment, a weekend, a holiday trip. It's like more solution of individuality um, than mass conclusion. So everyone wants to have a special moment with a perfect food, drink, and combining those things, it's like the social trend, it's really important to have a chance uh, to get a, a new product, a premium product, which is noted um, correctly. <coughs> the last point uh, we looked into is the fine dining. Fine dining, um, in all the, especially restaurants and clubs, if there is a special moment, nearly 90% celebrating with like premium champagne or wine. Um, this is why I put it on the left and the right side because the excellent food is in the middle of the table but it always comes with alcoholic beverages. 
And there's, in our opinion, till now, nothing in a really high uh, premium segment which can cover this. So having the attention on the table, getting the experience of opening and celebrating a bottle of water, um, which can cover this topic in, in a combination. I did a small journey because I want to look more detail what is really served. And I asked uh, one of the biggest uh, premium clubs in Germany, P1 in Munich, I don't know, most of you will know this <coughs> uh, club. And I asked the owner if it's possible if I can go one evening in the back kitchen to see what the guests are ordering. And there were so many surprises in there, you can believe me. Um, one part was there were so many, oh, nearly 30% of the champagne bottles are open, back doors, get pulled in the dash and get refilled with water. So there's so many, especially the Russian and um, Arabian guests who order like a magnum or double magnum bottle of champagne and a smaller one, which they drink because they come with a big car in front of the club and they have to bring the car back to it. So that was, was quite surprising. The other point I took out, which I will talk to you now, um, the side theme of this is a cuvee. If you go Take a deeper look in Cuvée. A lot of known big brands are Cuvées. More or less all champagne, champagnes are Cuvées. <laughs> Red wines are Cuvées. But there are also rum, whiskies in the high class segments. And olive oil and vinegar. So the, the Cuvée is known more and more in the poor segment. So in the past, for me especially, um, on my own, Cuvée was only mixing something to, I would say, create something out of the rest. Currently, especially in Germany, um, what's our market premium-wise, um, QB is a synonym for um, getting masterpiece, so get creating of, out of all the best things, something special, QB is a synonym for premium quality. So now a new question came up, why we don't have anything comparable in the water segment. Why not creating something um, which has a combination of natural things which is working together to create a new blend? I thought this would be a great idea and I got waked up quite fastly when I got <laughs> or starting the journey saying, okay, we want to create a water cube. Um, I got punished by a lot of barriers and regulations uh, from Germany. And I want to go into these. There's a mineral and table water regulation in Germany. We have the deposit system, which is mainly in Germany, and we have a packaging regulation. These are the three biggest topics I want to go into because there are, you have, or some of you had questioned me yesterday about some information which are on the back label uh, on, on the water which has to be due to the effect of the nutrition law, which is also a part of this. So looking into these, and now I think this is one of the, the most important chunks. The water and mineral uh, table water regulation divided or has a, has a clear um, picture what is a mi natural mineral water. Natural mineral water has to be bottled directly at the well. So if there is 100% concrete, there is a rounding of 103 meters. If you're not bottling the water in there, it's not any more natural mineral water. The other point is you have to communicate the mineralization and the source. So everybody, every consumer has to know or could know where the water from, how the mineralization, calcium, magnesium, and everything else. What we are doing? creating a cuvee, bringing one source to another one and bottle it over there. So we are in, out of the fact of the mineral water uh, regulations, we are not anymore a natural mineral water, uh, we are table water. And in the regulatories, the table water is written differently. So what is it? The table water has an, another regulation, the nutrition regulation. And this is why some questions of you yesterday came up. There is a, currently on our bottle a small sentence, water could contain a little amount of sugar, um, fat, and everything. This has to be on every product in the food and beverage
over to Germany. The same part, and now it's getting more crazy. A table water is not allowed at all to communicate the mineralization and the source. So it's the same in the bottle, but it's different just due to the fact that it's bottled on another place. With these hurdles, we are like at a point in our journey discussing, okay, how strong is a cuvee and the opportunity to create something special besides the communication of natural mineral water. We decide the cuvee, or especially those two sources recombining, are more powerful than the word natural mineral water. Besides this, this is a deposit floor. This is our new back label. You see there's no sentence anymore because we got after a lot of fights uh, with regulatory the chance to put on um, the table of what is in there. So there's still fats, there's still calcium, sugar, but everything is on zero because in water there is no fat and no sugar. But this confusing point for the end customer reading a sentence that could be something in there uh, was an, yeah, a feedback hurdle of, of selling those products even in a high class premium uh, category. This information has to be on the label. Combining this with the, the, uh, the deposit system, the label looks like this. We encode all you know because it's needed for the, for the trade. Um, and this small sign here is the deposit. So if you buy a bottle, you have to pay the deposit. If you bring it somewhere back to the retail, you get your money back. For us, it was an even bigger hurdle because for printing this small thing, there are in Germany only five companies who have the allowance to do this. So this is, you can imagine, it's like printing money. If you were going to a bank and said, hey, I'm here, can you print me a box of 100 Eurosha bills? Um, all of them were laughing, especially if I called them and told them I need 20,000 of these, they just hang up. They were like, okay, call me back if you need one million. They were like, oh my goodness, we're a startup, we're small, we're tiny. How we should imagine to get up to a million of these. So even those hurdles we got managed with some solutions, but it brings us to a higher product cost because this is our starting label and that had to be bring on by hand before it get on the bottle. Next thing, packaging regulation. In Germany, it was the last three years. You could do, but you shouldn't. Beginning of January this year, the regulation is uh, fixed. So you have to pay for every single part of your shipping box, of your label, so the graph, the cork, uh, premium boxes, additional fees. And if more premium and more heavier the package is, as the more you pay. It doesn't matter if you send it to Europe, to the US, it's always it's a journey through Germany, so you have to pay all the amount of kilograms in Germany. Another hurdle we have, we are bottling the, the bottle with cork, not natural cork, it's not working at all. The taste will directly go into the water. We tested 17 different corks, and they all have a certificate that they are natural taste. After all our tastings with the big company, only three of them are really natural. So all the certificates are trustable, but to be honest, not workable. So this was another level, and the last one um, was the premium packaging, <coughs> which brings us much more cost into the segment. Now I'm proud to present you what our solution is in a short video um, with all the information around, and um, yeah. Since four years, Libas GmbH is realizing its vision. To provide the connoisseur of our time with the water that can be the centerpiece of any festive table. We managed to create Libas Water Cuvée by combining two different wells. Taking the best, we create the first water cuvée in the world with an extraordinary high amount of natural calcium. As part of a cozy evening or an excellent dinner for two, Libas Water always finds the right place at every table. 
In addition to the allergen product design, the unique thalage needs to be highlighted. The particular fine sparkling and tingling combination on the palette allows a very special drinking experience. On special occasions, one can now pop the cork without alcohol and slide. Nevis water is viewed as a water which stays the water, but is so different. Enjoy yourself. Yes, enjoy yourself. I already oh, brought again some bottles in here, so those of you who haven't the chance yet today, have the feel free to welcome. Um, bringing me yeah, back to the last part of the presentation and the question, could be a cuvee on this time, Nevis water, start a new area um, in our category to combine and create new blends to have the naturality of a product uh, combining with two, three different sources to just have a mixed flavor, um, mineralization and hardness of the water. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before I turn it over, one sec. I just want to ask you the same question. So in the water, it's just just two different sources. So do we add anything else, anything else to the water, or just the two different sources? No, it's just the two different sources. The combination is added. Okay. Yes, um, on a, on a like highly uh, processed for for the special on the product is the combination is in each bottle. So it's nearly 20 seconds work on each bottle because it's got shaped in between. So the big bo bubbles are loose, the well, water is losing the big bubble, and then in four steps the combination process um, is made to have the really tiny, tiny bubbles. And then can, can, can you speak loud? Yeah. <laughs> Thing is recording, so whatever you say will be part of the permanent record of the internet. This circle is um, to be seen differently. The, the official answer has to be everyone is working with a deposit system yeah. to have reused the bottles a lot. Um, to be honest, it's more or less only working on a standard product. Um, we are convincing those uh, Orica customers mainly by the fact that they are working, especially restaurants, a little bit different, bars, clubs, working that fast that they don't want to reuse the bottle. So they just throw everything in the same bunch. Um, another point why we choose uh, one way deposit system is our safety construction. We are bottling with so much pressure in each bottle. Um, that every bottle has to be scanned before if they have like tiny damages, um, that would be a safety issue. So this is the reason why we choose the one-way de deposit, um, just to have to be 100% sure that every bottle is uh, safe and safe to contract. Okay, so um, I think we also initially say Especially for, for our product, the bottles are printed blackly. So after a while in a fridge or something, they got like scratches all around. 
and reusing this um, is what looks horrible. Um, and even though even if you got more specialized, they should have like for the Mehrweg deposit, they have to use hundreds of different trays to select those. It's just technically not, not doable for, for those guys.